Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Ray Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is January 30th, 2024, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, it's very exciting. Facebook, which is known as Meta, and Microsoft pushed to new all-time record record highs. But first, looking at today's major economic events, so at 5 p.m. South African time out of the United States, we have a consumer confidence number and a jolt job opening number coming out. Those are very two important numbers. Now, not to forget tomorrow, we have FOMC and lots of earning reports from all the FANG stocks. Now, looking at the markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pairs on change, and it's another week, and it's another low for the Turkish Lira. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones pushed to new all-time record highs, while the NASDAQ remained unchanged, even though some of its stocks did make new record highs. Now, looking at commodities, gold and oil remain unchanged. And as we look at the stocks, it's the FANG stock plus Microsoft that are in focus, pushing to new highs. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrency, Currencies, Bitcoin pushing higher. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're going to just cover the Turkish Lira out of the Forex pairs. The Forex symbols are not trading so much, so I'm not going to spend so much time on it. But this is how it's trickling to new lows. Now, this is not a big deal because it's three pips per week. But you multiply it, obviously, by the amount of weeks that we've had, and we're making new lows. Now, this is not major news, and this is not crazy news, but all intents and purposes, you know, we're at 3031. We were at 18 back in last May, and so this is a colossal debacle for the Turkish Lira. Now, it's not going in, like I said, it's not going in tremendous, tremendous amount, but it's just grinding lower and lower. And it's a shame not to take advantage of it as it's making these new lows. Okay, now let's jump into the U.S. stocks because both commodities really are not trading either. Now looking at the Dow Jones, we broke out to new record highs yesterday. Now there's not anything that popped up in the Dow Jones that made us go to these levels. However, sometimes the index goes before the stocks and sometimes the stocks go before the index and one plays catch up to the other. Case in point is if we look at the NASDAQ, did not make new record highs. However, some of the stocks that are the big stocks in the NASDAQ did make new highs. So let's look at them. We're talking about Facebook. Look at that. Facebook hitting 401 for the first time. New record highs. You can see that pop up. It did look like it was weaker for a day or two and then sure enough it just pops out higher if you look at microsoft week to week this is another one that did look like it was softer than the rest of the markets weaker than the rest of the markets especially since we had nvidia and amd make new highs and then sure enough microsoft comes right back push that 405 level and push it even higher to 409 now we're at all-time record highs there is no resistance at these areas for these stocks. So just keep that in mind. And that means this could go to infinity. Will it go to infinity? Probably not. But it's still breaking out new areas and new highs continuously. Now jumping to Amazon also making new highs as well. And if we look at Google, that one too. So all the FANG stocks, all the FANG stocks made new record highs. And as we look at Netflix, still showing some strength there. It's another FANG stock, but still showing some strength. Okay, it's a gap and go. It's not making new all-time record highs, but it's still relatively strong. So we're going to continue this momentum of rotational stocks. So we're going to go from this one to this one to this one to this one. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, lastly, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin pushes higher to 43000 300 ish level. Now, this is a resistance ish level. Yes, we pushed out higher. It's part of a consolidation and then pushing out higher. Now, the question is where it's going to go from here. So just keep an eye on it. Okay, if you're a price action, if you're a scalper and this is all you do, then just wait it out and let it come to you. And then once it starts going, you know, you know what to do, either upside or downside. That's just the reality of Bitcoin right now. It is a choppy market, so it's a little bit more difficult than, say, something like Microsoft and Google and all these stocks because they are trending up higher where this is more choppy and it's trading more in a range and as, a, as opposed to breaking out higher and continuously making those new highs. If we look at a weekly chart just to give us perspective, we had that trend upwards and now we're in that consolidation state. 
until we break out of it, either on the high side or the low side, either up or down, it's going to continue being very choppy. This is Fed Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.